On Thursday, President Donald Trump made liberal heads explode by pardoning conservative filmmaker Dinesh D'Souza, the mastermind behind best-selling movies like 2016, Obama's America. In the wake of this good news, D'Souza wasted no time before coming forward with a shocking claim about Barack Obama. Dinesh D'Souza is undoubtedly one of the most prominent and vocal conservatives in America. The most successful documentary filmmaker of all time, he produced the wildly popular movie 2016, Obama's America. However, while D'Souza has been incredibly successful, his work has also made him a target. While Barack Obama was in office, D'Souza was prosecuted for using a straw donor to make campaign contributions on his behalf which exceeded the established limitations for an individual. Donors rarely face charges for such violations, and the investigation into D'Souza's actions was widely seen as a political witch and, but he pleaded guilty to the charges in federal court in 2014. His lawyer argued that the government targeted D'Souza because of his consistently caustic and highly publicized criticism of Barack Obama. He filed court papers at the time claiming that his client was selectively targeted for felony prosecution because of his outspoken, vigorous and politically controversial criticism and condemnation of the president and his administration. Indeed, the double standard when it comes to these sorts of cases is glaring. For example, Democratic megadonor Rosie O'Donnell was caught using four different names and five different addresses in order to give Democratic candidates as much money as possible. O'Donnell tried to say that she had no idea she had broken the law, but the fact that she went to such great lengths to cover her tracks using so many different names and addresses would certainly suggest that she was well aware of her wrongdoing and even taking steps to try to make sure she didn't get caught. D'Souza ultimately avoided jail time in his case but was confined for eight months in a halfway house, given five years probation, and ordered to pay a $30,000 fine. However, it was announced on Thursday that he was granted a full pardon by President Donald Trump, who agreed that it was absolutely ridiculous to prosecute the filmmaker for something prominent Democrats have always gotten away with. In announcing the pardon, Trump said D'Souza was treated very unfairly by our government. D'Souza responded to the pardon by expressing his heartfelt thanks to Donald Trump and noting that Obama had very nearly destroyed his faith in the American dream. My heartfelt thanks to those who prayed for me, supported me and reached out on social media to President Trump to pardon me, D'Souza tweeted. Obama and his stooges tried to extinguish my American dream and destroy my faith in America. Thank you at Rialda and Aldrum for fully restoring both. D'Souza's wife Debbie also expressed her gratitude to the president and gave special thanks to Sen. Ted Cruz, our Texas, for pushing the pardon. I want to thank at Rialda and Aldrum for giving my husband a pardon, but I particularly want to thank at St. Ed Cruz for putting it on his radar and helping make it happen. So grateful, she tweeted. Cruz also praised the pardon, tweeting, Bravo! At Rialda and Aldrum, Dinesh was the subject of a political prosecution, brazenly targeted by the Obama administration BC of his political views. And he's a powerful voice for freedom, systematically dismantling the lies of the left, which is why they hate him. This is justice. You certainly can't blame a man like Dinesh Souza for questioning his faith in America after having been targeted by the Obama administration. And, make no mistake, he was targeted. Barack Obama was looking for any way possible to skewer the conservative filmmaker who made a career out of exposing him. 
Obama ultimately found his avenue for hurting Souza, choosing to have him prosecuted for a crime which Democrats commit all the time and on a much bigger scale. Just like Dinesh Souza, Americans from sea to shining sea have had their faith restored by President Donald Trump, who is systematically working to dismantle Obama's legacy. The pardon of Souza was just the latest step in this effort. Share this report if you too applaud Trump for pardoning Dinesh Souza.